Hello, I'm Paul, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up geofencing on Facebook. Now, sometimes this is called geotargeting or proximity marketing. Strategically, the whole idea is you only want to run ads in a physical location within space. So you're creating a fence uh, digitally around a particular place. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that in Facebook. Really, all that we're doing is we're placing a pin on the address that we want, and then we're going to place exclusion pins around it to kind of carve out the negative space, and that way ads will only run in the area that we want. So we're going to use the example of a shopping mall here. So I am out here in Chandler, Arizona, and the Fashion Square Mall is a really cool place where they get a lot of people. So we're going to go ahead and build a geofence around that. So I am here in my ad set. And there's many reasons why strategically you would want to do geofencing. So realize this is just a ground level tactic for targeting and your objective and your creative have to make sure that they make sense with the rest of this. So that being said, let's go ahead and get to it. So we're going to go ahead and target this address and we're going to set it to within one mile here. So if we were to just run this, it's not going to target just the mall, which you can see this space right here. It's going to target everybody around it, and we want to go ahead and exclude that. So the trick here is to use an exclude pin, and we're going to want to go ahead and drop it. Now, sometimes this is tricky depending on the shape and the space of what you got going on here. So what I like to do is it's kind of all about scale and with respect to. So looking at this right here, we can see the pin is technically a little bit north of the actual mall here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a pin basically the, oh, sorry, basically the same distance from the edge. And this mouse is touchy. That's why it looks like it's double clicking. Uh, so let me show you what I mean here. And it really is kind of a little trial and an error kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this pin right about here. Now by default, it's going to do 10 miles. So you want to drop it, set it to one mile, and then you can zoom in and see what's going on here. So you can see that even though I dropped the pin, I kind of cut it off halfway through the mall. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of that one, and then drop a pin a little further south. And so that's why I said it's kind of like a trial and error kind of thing. So this can be a little time consuming, but once you set it up, you are going to be building ads just in the area around where you're looking for. So, okay, so you can see this pin kind of cuts off right at the bottom of the mall. So we're doing everybody in this area, but cutting this off. So now we would kind of do the same to the left and the right and the top and the bottom. So let's go ahead and do this again. I'm going to go out to the edge and let's drop a pin. I guess let's do it right here. See how that looks. And then when I zoom in, okay, cool. So you can see I, I'm starting to cut this off. So you can see how we're basically saying include but then exclude a bunch of slices around it. And then that way you're truly creating a, a geographical fence around what you're trying to do. So let's go ahead and put the top and the bottom one here, and then we will have successfully geofenced off the mall. So let's drop a pin. So really this right edge is just a little bit to the right of this edge here, so I don't need to go out as far. So let's say we do here. And OK, you can see there we go. So now we've pretty much cut everything off. And then we just got to go ahead and do one more exclusion at the top to make sure that we're truly only targeting people at the mall. The other thing that's really important that I forgot to mention is you're going to want to make sure to choose people that were either most likely recently in this location, especially in the case of a shopping mall, people don't live there. So uh, I would actually choose people living in or recently just because that gives us the biggest net that we could possibly do. So let's do this, lex this last exclude pin here. So it's actually, I can do it right about on the edge because the pin itself is north of the mall. So if I drop it right on the edge here and adjust, 
now we can see that we have successfully geotargeted them all. So really, it's only going to run ads to anybody that's been in this space. So whether they're in the parking lot or the mall or some of the little restaurants that are around here, that's how we're going to be running ads. So now this is the targeting. We have just made a digital fence around this particular space. So now we would just finish setting up the rest of our campaign, putting in our creatives, and again, assuming that you're going to have the proper objectives. And this is just the location. You're still going to want to make sure that you dial in your demographics and your targeting as well. So for example, if I was wanting to target small business owners that were at the mall, I would want to make sure that I geofence and then also small business owners, which is actually a behavior on Facebook. Facebook knows if you're a small business owner. So that is how to geofence on Facebook.